Welcome to your hips and shoulders practice. Take a few moments to find a comfortable seated position with your feet crossed and your hands gently resting on your knees. With each inhale, feel the length of your spine as you sit up a little taller. And each exhale, ground down a little bit more. Following the natural rhythm of your own breath, creating length and grounding. A few breaths just like that as you settle into your seat. With your next inhale, reach your right arm up overhead as your left hand is down by your side for support, creating length through your side body. Next inhale, sit up tall and your right hand will rest on your left ear as you guide your right ear towards your right shoulder and walk your left fingertips away from your body. You can change the angle of the stretch by dropping your chin down towards your heart, being really mindful and slow. Next inhale, left arm reaches up towards the sky. Your head comes to neutral and then again, drop your right ear towards your right shoulder and chin down towards your chest. With your next inhale, bring your head back to neutral. Exhale to drop your hands down by your side and then inhale, left arm swings up and over, creating length through the left side of your body as your right hand stays down on the ground for support. Inhale to find a neutral spine as your left fingers touch your right ear, dropping your left ear to your left shoulder and walking your right fingertips away from your body. Playing with that angle as you drop your chin down towards your chest. Next inhale, neutral spine. Bring your right arm up towards the sky, drop your shoulder down your back and then again, left ear towards left shoulder. Playing with the angle again, dropping your chin towards your chest. One more breath. Next inhale, neutral spine, both arms reach up towards the sky and then drop your hands down by your side. Your hands will reach behind your back. Fingertips point towards your hips. Roll your shoulders back, shine your heart forward. You can keep your bum down on the ground or push down through hands and feet to lift your hips. Keeping that outer rotation through your shoulders, creating space across your collarbones as you drop your head down towards your fingers. And then exhale, drop your hips back down to the floor and slowly lay down and hug your knees in towards your chest. You can rock side to side or hold still. And then keeping that grip on your right shin, release your left leg long. Have your foot flexed so that your leg is engaged. Let your head rest heavy on the floor. Keep squeezing your knee in towards your chest. And then slowly twist onto your left hip and drop your right knee towards the ground. Just being really gentle as we're still warming up our spine. And then bring yourself flat onto your back again and find a half happy baby. Bottom of your foot reaches up towards the sky and your right elbow's on the inside of your right knee. Hug your knee down towards the floor as you reach your foot up towards the sky. Now lift your chest to get the bottom of your right foot into your left elbow. And then wrap your right hand around your right knee and rock side to side. Exhale to release and reach your right heel up high. We wanna have a straight or as straight as possible leg here. So it's okay to have your leg reaching away from your body at a 45 degree angle. And as you get more comfortable reaching up through your heel, you can pull a little closer towards your chest finding a bit of movement in your ankle. We'll get into our IT bend. So your left hand reaches across to the outside of your right leg. And as you turn your right foot towards the left, slowly guide your right leg over your body to the left. You maybe will move a foot or two, really focusing on the angle of your ankle to create the stretch. And then exhale to hug your knee in towards your chest and then drop your foot down to the inside of your left leg and open your right knee to the side, arms overhead. Just take a few breaths here.
bring your right hand down by your side and assist your right knee to point back up towards the sky. And then we'll switch sides. So hug your left knee in towards your chest as your right leg is long and your foot is flexed, keeping your leg engaged. You can hold still with your knee in towards your chest or rock a bit side to side, finding a little bit of movement that feels nourishing or allowing yourself to be still. Now slowly twist onto your right side as you drop your left knee down. Reach your left ear and left shoulder flat, creating a little twist on this side, being gentle. And then inhale to bring yourself flat onto your back for half happy baby on this side. Hugging your knee down towards the floor. You can have your hand on your arch or peace fingers to big toe. And if that's not accessible, then just hold on to your shin, giving yourself a little bit more space so that your shoulders and head can be flat on the ground. And pull your left foot in towards your right elbow and then wrap your hands around your leg to rock a little bit side to side. With your next exhale, you can release and lay flat. Reach your left heel up high towards the sky, wrapping your hands around your left hamstring, pointing and flexing and rolling your ankle to get a little bit more movement into your leg. And keeping your leg as straight as possible, gently guide your left knee towards your chest, not worrying how far it goes, just focus on creating length in the back side of your leg. Now reach your foot straight up so your leg is perpendicular to the ground and your right hand comes to the outside of your left leg, left hand off to the side. Point your foot towards the right and then guide your leg over your body. Focusing on that tall line from your left hip to your left outside ankle. Playing with the angle of your foot to intensify or decrease the intensity of the stretch. And then release that by dropping your foot down to the inside of your right leg and open your knee to the side. You can have your hands under your head, overhead, down by your side or on your body. letting yourself have these few restful moments in between movements and when you're ready you can hug your knees in towards your chest rock side to side and we'll make our way into our full happy baby so both bottoms of your feet reaching up elbows on the insides of your knees guide your knees down to the outsides of your shoulders you can be still or find a little bit of movement rocking side to side straightening one leg and then the other pulling them out to the splits or overhead with your next exhale, drop your feet down to the floor, deep bend into your knees, feet about hip distance, push down through both feet, and then lift your hips. Keep that connection to your core and drop your hips down to the floor. Push down through both feet to lift your hips again, and then exhale, drop your hips down, and then inhale, lift, maybe even higher this time, and roll one shoulder under and then the other, and interlock your fingers behind your back. Now, as you push down through your shoulders and your triceps and your forearms, see if you can lift your hips even higher, bringing your heart towards your chin, keeping that connection to the floor with both feet. One more inhale and then exhale, slowly drop down, roll out one shoulder after the other, and then bottoms of your feet together, knees out wide, and find a new position for your hands on your body, by your side or overhead. Just taking a couple of deep, nourishing breaths here giving your body what it needs, just allowing yourself to be where you are. Now with your next inhale, bring your knees back up, feet flat on the ground, hands by your side, and again, inhale to lift your hips, exhale to drop down, inhale to lift, exhale drop, push down with both feet, inhale lift, and then roll your shoulders under once again, interlock your fingers, Lifting your heart towards your chin. Squeezing your knees together without moving them, just keeping that energetic connection. And then exhale, slowly lower down. And hug your knees in towards your chest. You can rock side to side or draw some figure eights with your knees or big circles. Just giving your low back a little bit of love here. With your next exhale, drop your feet down onto the ground near your bum. 
and then using a little bit of momentum, you're gonna rock your hips up and then walk your hands up your back to assist to get your hips and feet above your shoulders and your shoulder stand. And keeping that connection to the floor through your shoulders and your triceps. You can keep your feet up overhead or if plow pose is in your practice, you can drop your knees down towards your forehead and then step your feet onto the floor overhead. Now only if your feet touch can you bring your hands down on the ground behind you, otherwise keep your hands on your back for support. And then you can play with getting the shoelace side of your feet down on the ground to give your feet a little bit of stretch in this position and being very careful not to move your head side to side in this position, keep it neutral. And then slowly make your way out of this pose. And once your bum lands down, you're gonna bring yourself up into a seated position, feet zip together and exhale forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. Feel the length from the tailbone all the way to your crown. Taking an inhale to lengthen your spine and an exhale to release a little deeper. A couple breaths like that. With your next inhale, bring yourself up into a seated position and extend your right foot off to the side with your left foot in the inseam of your right leg. Inhale to reach up and then exhale, hinge over towards your right dropping your right forearm down on the inside of your right leg. And if that's not available, you can leave your hand on your leg, reaching your left hand up towards the sky, stacking your shoulders. And then inhale, bring your body up, plant your right left hand behind your body and lift your hips, rolling your right hand behind your head, opening up your chest. Next inhale, you're gonna bring your bum back down onto the ground and switch sides. Left foot off to the side, right foot into the inseam. Inhale for a neutral spine, arms reach up, and then exhale, left arm reaches down towards your left leg, and right arm reaches up and over. Allowing your head to land in whatever angle feels comfortable, so there's no strain in your neck. And then inhale, right arm reaches up, plant behind you, and then slowly roll your Left hand behind, creating space for your chest and collarbone and heart. And then slowly inhale to bring your body back onto the ground. And feet forward once again. Take a deep inhale with your arms up and exhale forward fold. Taking a couple breaths of stillness or light movement to rinse out what we just did. Now slowly make your way into a tabletop position. Your knees are below your hips. Your wrists are below your shoulders and your fingertips are spread. Now keeping your arms straight, we'll do some rhomboid push-ups. So with your exhale, you drop your chest down towards the floor and then inhale, pull your chest and back up. Keep your arms straight. So you're just allowing your shoulder blades to close as you drop your chest and then expand as you lift up. Just a couple like that, and then you're gonna find the halfway point where it's engaged and locked, and you'll inhale to reach your right hand forward and left leg behind you, starting with your toes tucked on the floor, and then lift, creating one tall line from your right fingertips to your left toes. And then slowly, keeping that height from the floor, walk your right hand to the right and your left foot to the left until you can drop your left foot down. So you want your left foot to be extending straight out from your opposite knee, and then you're gonna to inhale to lift, and exhale, extend over your straight leg. And then inhale to bring yourself back into a neutral spine. You're gonna turn your extended leg so your foot is now facing away, getting into a warrior two position, but with your back knee down. So your inside hand drops the inside of your foot, and then your top hand reaches up towards the sky. Tuck your low ribs in to get that rotation so your shoulder can stack over top of the bottom shoulder. And then slowly turn to make your way into your low lunge and then pull your hips back for your half splits. Keep your tailbone above your back knee. And then towards your extended leg, your opposite hand is down on the floor and then inhale to turn towards your front leg. And exhale, drop back down. Move into our half malasana. So up on the toes of your front foot, 
Deep bend into your knee and opposite leg extended with your toes pointing up. Hands at heart to challenge your balance, otherwise keep them down on the ground. And slowly push yourself up into a wide-legged position with your toes pointing forward and inhale for a little bit of a lift and then exhale, melt down towards the ground. You're welcome to stay right here if this feels like where you need to be. Otherwise, we'll move through a bit of a twist. So walk your weight forward, getting your body parallel to the ground. Your right hand stays on the floor and then inhale, sweep your left hand up stacking your shoulders, and then exhale, weave under your right to grab onto the outside of your right leg, your thigh, your shin, or your ankle, and let your head hang heavy, creating that twist by holding onto your leg. And then inhale, sweep your arm back up towards the sky, and exhale, drop it down. Now your left hand under your nose, inhale, sweep your right arm straight up. And then exhale, tuck your ribs as you twist under, looking under your left armpit, using the resistance of holding on to your own leg to create that twist. Next inhale, sweep your arm back up towards the sky. And then exhale, both hands down and walk your weight back over to your front foot. And let's flow through. Drop down with your exhale for chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Just a couple breaths here. And make your way back into your tabletop. You can do a few cat cows, a few rhomboid push-ups, creating that connection to your core, connection to the floor, connection to your breath. Now find that halfway position in your rhomboid push-ups so you feel engaged and strong. Your left hand reaches forward, pinky down. Right leg reaches back with your toes tucked and then lift. Point your toes down, reach through your heel and then slowly move your right leg to the right left arm to the left until you can drop down with your foot off to the side, level with your bottom knee, and then inhale to lengthen, exhale, extend over your straight leg. Inhale back up and then turn your extended foot off to the side so you can get into your warrior two position with your back knee down. Your front hand's on the inside of your ankle creating some connection as you push your forearm into your shin and allow your top arm to reach up towards the sky. With your next exhale, you're gonna drop your hands down and then turn towards your extended foot to pull your hips back and find your half splits position. And this time your opposite hand from your extended leg is down on the ground, low ribs tuck in and then twist towards your extended leg, hugging your hips back and then exhale, make your way into your half malasana. Your heel is lifted, toes are down, hands down on the ground or bring them to heart to challenge your balance. And then both hands on the ground as you transition into your wide legged forward fold position. Stand up tall to bring your hands behind your back. Inhale to pull your shoulder blades together, fist down, heart up, and then exhale, fold towards the ground. Let your head hang heavy as your fists reach overhead. A couple of deep breaths here, being mindful to not hold your breath in any position. And if you are holding your breath, it could be a sign you've gone too deep, so edge back a little bit. Now slowly walk your hands towards your front foot so you can step back into your down dog and then flow through. Inhale forward, high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra as you peel your shoulders back and exhale, down dog. Spread your fingers wide. Inhale, right leg up high to the sky. Stack your hips, bend your knee. Shoulders stay square, keeping that rotation just in your hips. Next inhale, level out your hips and then take a big step through in between your hands for your low lunge. Your back knee drops down, a deep inhale, and then exhale, rest your chest on your front thigh. Being mindful that your front ankle is right below your front knee or slightly back so that your knee is over your toes. Moving with your breath, inhales and exhales. And the next inhale, you're gonna lift your chest to walk your right foot off to the side. Your toes come to a 45 degree angle, flex your foot and get onto the pinky side of your foot. You can leave your right hand on your thigh or reach it up towards the sky as you peel your heart away from your right leg. You can leave your right hand up or bring it behind your head to open into your chest a little bit more. 
And with your next exhale, bring both hands down to the ground, lift your back knee, and then step your left foot forward to match your right. So now your heels are just wider than your hips and your toes are out at 45. You can sit on a block or keep your hips floating. Now push your elbows to the insides of your knees and be mindful that you're not collapsing to the insides of your feet. With your next exhale, drop your hands down to the ground, bring your feet to parallel, and then step back into your down dog. Inhale forward, high plank. Exhale, lower. Up dog or cobra with your inhale. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Stack your hips, bend your knee. Shoulders stay square. Pull your left shoulder a little closer towards the mat. And then next inhale, you're gonna level out your hips and take a big step through in between your hands. Making sure your front ankle is below your knee or a tiny bit back. Take an inhale to lengthen and exhale. Allow your body to rest on your left thigh. With your next inhale, you're gonna lift your chest off your thigh, left hand onto your leg and then walk your foot off to a 45 degree angle. Flex your foot, get onto the pinky side of your left foot. And as you open your knee to the left, you have the option to lift your left hand up towards the sky or bring your hand behind your head. Deep inhale, full exhale. Inhale to bring yourself back to center, lift your back knee and then step your right foot forward to meet your left. Back in our deep yogi squat with your bum on the block or floating down towards the ground as you push into the insides of your knees. Now make your way down onto your bum, deep bend into your knees and exhale, roll flat onto your back one vertebra at a time. Hug your knees in towards your chest and rock side to side as you let your head be heavy. You can drop your feet down to the ground and find your Supta Baddha Konasana once again, bottoms of feet together, knees out wide, and find a new position for your hands, overhead, by your side, or on your body. Just allowing a couple of deep, nourishing breaths here. When you're ready, you can slowly flip yourself back into your tabletop position for a moment. Bring your knees out wide, toes touch, bum towards your heels for your child's pose. With your inhale, you'll lift your forehead and walk your hands to the right and then melt down again. Bring a little more awareness to your left bum cheek as you pull it down towards your left heel, intensifying the stretch on the left side. When you're ready, you can inhale to lift your forehead, walk through center, and then all the way to the left. And again, melting down, right bum cheek a little closer towards right heel. And again, when you're ready, make your way back to center. Settle into your child's pose. And stay here as long as you like. Focusing on your breath. Gazing at the backs of your eyelids. And taking a few steps back in your mind's eye so you can witness and observe what's going on instead of just being attached to it. When you're ready to make your way back into your seated position, do so in your own time finding some dynamic movement to settle your practice and settle in your body and settle in the moment and have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.